Hi, I'm Robin Manker with Phoenix Ball Balancing. We recently made some significant changes to our software and our marketing. Today, I'd like to show you some of the changes in the software. We'll begin the demonstration at the home page. Click the first tab, Ball Specs, and we see information about balls in general not this specific ball but balls in general we can pick a ball from the left hand column whichever ball you want let's go to the motive forza and then i'm going to go up to the tab row up here to click drilling measurements i've already typed in information for the left finger the right finger and the thumb to save time on the right half of the screen make sure you have the correct hand indicated this is going to be a right-handed bowler the information that we're going to need now is going to be the pin to the CG the PAP to track distance the span measurements and the PAP distances once those are typed in then you're ready to go to the next tab calculations on the calculation screen, the changes to the software have occurred at option number two. Computer calculates leverage weight, and then in parentheses, flare. So we're going to select that option, and we give it what percent of flare that we want. Now this is a lot easier than memorizing different angle combinations and distances to end up with maximum flare or some variation of that. Let's go with maximum flare this time so I'll leave it at 100% click OK and we see the right hand part of the screen uh, has a list of instructions to follow to lay out the ball now sometimes these instructions will seem confusing so the main addition we've added to this part of the program is the show me button if I click show me I get a new screen and it's going to go step by step through the directions for laying out the ball so the first step is draw an arc through the pin and the CG, which is shown in the picture on the left. If I click the next button, I'll get the second set of instructions. Call the midpoint of the arc point M. Click next. From point M, draw a second arc of length 3 and 11 16 inches and mark the endpoint X. The second arc should be perpendicular to the first arc. Click Next. Starting at point M, measure toward the CG a distance of 1 and 5 8 inches and mark the point P. Click Next. Starting at X, draw a third arc through P of length 5 and 1 half inches and mark the point A. Point A will be the center of grip. Click Next. The ball has been rotated now. From point A, draw a fourth arc perpendicular to the third arc, five and one half inches up, and mark point B. Click Next. Draw a fifth arc of length one half inch through B and perpendicular to the fourth arc. Call the end point C. Click Next. Draw an arc through C and A. It will be the center line. Click Next. Draw the midline through A and perpendicular to the center line. Click Next. Then the computer shows you a picture of where the finger and thumb holes will be relative to this layout. If I go back to step one, I can go through the process again. If I don't want to see all the steps step by step, after I've done this a few times, we'll say, I can just say show the final layout and the computer will give me all the steps at one time. You can go back as many steps as you want you can go forward. Now let's go back to the original screen and change the settings for option 2. Let's click option 2 again. This time let's say 80%. A new set of instructions appears on the right. We'll click Show Me. 
And if I go through the steps, you're going to see a little difference in how the ball is laid out. This is because the software is now an expert system. It determines what the best layout would be for this ball to achieve the requested percentage. If I click Next, notice this time that X is directly across from the pin. And if I continue, you'll see that point A is in a different location than it was before. And we have a different layout than the layout that we had for 100% flare. Another option that's available is balance info. Once the layout has been determined and you've drilled the gripping holes, then you might want to uh, change the CG, manipulate the CG, so that the final CG after drilling is located toward the pin, toward the original CG, toward the PAP, or some other location. And this page tells you what to do to achieve the final layout that you want. Thank you for watching this video. Check out our website, phoenixballbalancing.com, to see more changes that we've made.